Hey, I, I did want to mention this. Uh, Texas Tech over Houston. The only I'm not going to even really talk much about the game because it got away from Houston. They didn't even score in the second half. What I'm curious your thoughts are is 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 oh my god, what's his name? Dana Holgerson is Dana. is is Dana in trouble? No, I don't think Dana's in trouble. I thought this was the weirdest game. I I watched the first half of this game waiting on the LSU game to start, and Houston held the ball the entire first half. They get the kickoff. They go on this super long drive, ends in a touchdown. Then Dana's got the nuts to go for an onside kick, very first kickoff, gets it, go on another drive. Texas Tech doesn't take their first snap until two minutes, 13 seconds. Yes. And that's where they take their first snap in the, in the first quarter. And I thought, this ball game, this ball game, Houston has completely dominated this team. This defense cannot hang. How the defense shut them down after that, after being on the field, not exaggerating, the entire first quarter, I don't know. Well, I, I don't I, know I, what I know they this. did. No, no, no. I know what happened. Clayton Toon threw four interceptions. I mean, yeah, it's going to completely change well, yeah. the ball game. So, um, Because whenever Texas Tech actually did have the ball, if you look at just the EPA and whatnot, because it, it, total plays here, Houston had 86, Texas Tech only had 60. But yep. EPA, Houston was negative 13.87. Texas Tech was ten point nine two. Well, and you're right. It comes it comes down to the fact that the so once I saw Texas Tech scoring as quickly as they scored in the second quarter when they finally got to take snaps, I realized then this is why he went for the onside kick. He know he knows his team can't play defense, yeah. so we're just gonna try to keep the football all day long. Yeah, I, absolutely. Tried to keep the football and. I mean, Texas Tech, 16 Havoc plays created. That's 22% of them. Houston only had six. I mean, it just it, it, overall, like this was this was surprising because I expected Houston to come out and play better this year. I did too. And, and they didn't. They absolutely nope. did not. Clayton Toon for the game, minus 18 EPA. Do we think Texas Tech is good? Do we think Texas Tech can do anything with the middle of the pack? Or are they still a bottom feeder of no, no, no. of? I, I the think that they can... I think they can compete for a bowl game. I think they're in the right. middle of, of Who the do you 12. think is at the bottom outside of Kansas right now? Because the rest of the Big 12, uh, well, I felt was very weird. Baylor did not look great. So no. that was that was not a good thing for Dave Aranda and those guys. West Virginia, like you lose to Maryland. I know that Maryland is, is quirky and whatnot, but that was strange. Oklahoma State, I'm not even going to try and read anything off of that because uh, Spencer Sander... Uh, Sanders did not play in that game. You know, I would probably say Baylor and eh, probably Baylor down at the bottom right now, along with okay. Kansas. But I could see Texas Tech in there with West Virginia, with, you know, Oklahoma State, TCU. Like, they can compete with some of these teams if things go correctly. Like, they have they have got a massive advantage at wide receiver over <laughs> Just about everybody that they play. I told you, I think this TCU team's better than than people thought before oh, the season started. I, I, I they, think TCU can win this conference. They they were the team that I picked to 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 play Oklahoma in in the championship game. I I, I I'm not I'm not backing away from that after week one. I don't blame you. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.